Welcome everybody to Rusty Money Gaming here on YouTube, a place where we gather in the barn house for challenges, live streams, let's plays, and more. So I hope you will sit back, relax, and enjoy this next creation by myself, Rusty Money. Good day, good people. Welcome back to another episode of the No Tractor Challenge with myself, Rusty Money. This challenge was created by Warco Entertainment on YouTube and shared in my Facebook group, Farming Simulator Challenges, and in my Discord channel. So basically, the object of this challenge is to operate a farm without any tractors. So as you can see here, uh, my main piece of equipment that is resembling my tractor in this challenge is this Massey Ferguson Activia modded harvester from the Mod Hub. So this is my main piece of equipment uh, that is operating as my tractor in this no tractor challenge. Uh, because oops <laughs> because uh we have a front lifter attached to the rear of our harvester right there as you can see and so it works really well with this harvester actually um we can even fast farm with this harvester and seed or plant a field or even cultivate or do a number of other things with this harvester in this no tractor challenge but we are in april now it is about nine o'clock in the morning in game time we have a hundred and five thousand two hundred ninety one dollars uh we just uh, planted this cornfield here off camera and now we are rolling this cornfield and uh moving forward in this challenge I have uh, no loan because we can't have any loans, so we don't have any debt uh, to pay off. Um, one of the goals in this challenge, in this no tractor challenge, is not only operating the farm without a tractor, but also harvesting your three main fields. And my three main fields in this challenge are these three that are in front of the harvester so right there we have i believe a field planted with wheat and then right here directly in front of us we have a field planted with barley and then i think that field over there just behind my fermenting silos and my seed and fertilizer hut that corner field right there to our upper left is a oat field so those are my three main fields and we have to do three harvest off of my three main fields so as soon as they get to harvest then that will be completing our first harvest and we'll have to complete two more full harvest off those three fields with any crop we choose so uh then the other objects of this challenge is to also have a animal pin at a hundred percent capacity well in this map which i've already told work entertainment that i probably would not do is you have to fill that animal pin to a hundred percent and on maypole farm here which is the map we are on by cavalier roy for FS22 here on PlayStation 5. The animal pins on this map called Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy have a very large pin capacity. So, uh, because of that fact, I'm actually going to try and do the four main animals, which I would consider cows, pigs, chickens, and sheep, and I'm excluding horses will not be doing horses but i'm going to instead of filling a pin to a hundred percent um i'm gonna try and do all four of those animals and we'll take them as high as i can get them throughout this journey 
And right now, I have a pen of 50 pigs. I have one chicken coop at maximum capacity of 600. I have another chicken coop that is approaching maximum capacity, which I can't remember if it's also 600 or 1,000. And then I have a cow pen that has a capacity right now of only 36 cows but can go a lot higher than that so those are the amounts of livestock I have so far um, I have uh, I have a good amount of land I also haven't done hardly any contracts in this challenge but that's also because if I remember correctly from uh, seeing somewhere uh, this map is going to be getting another update here soon as long as Cavalier Roy can get it to all uh, all fixed with what he wants to update the map with and then get that all passed through uh, Giants and released to the mod hub but it's supposed to be getting another update and one of those parts of those update I believe has something to do with the contracts and I think it has something to do with uh, some of the bailing contracts I think so ultimately in this way I'm doing this challenge here on Maple Farm I really haven't done any contracts and I'm not sure if I'm gonna actually do very many contracts as I want to work my own land and what I have available to do so you probably won't see much contract work in this series uh, just simply because I think I have enough do enough to do here on my own farm that we won't have to utilize uh, contracts to make us extra money We'll stay plenty busy here on our own farm. But that's just the way I want to do this. Now, we can do contracts, so don't uh, I don't want to mislead you if you ever think about doing this No Tractor Challenge by uh, our friend Warco Entertainment. You can do contracts, but you can't borrow the equipment. You must own the equipment to do the contract you want to work which I believe we own most of the equipment we would need to have in order to do any contract. So, yeah, we're, we've got a, we, yeah, we've got a really nice uh, setup uh, for what we would have available here to do in this no tractor challenge. Um, I, I own the grain mill in this challenge because at the start of this challenge you're supposed to buy one of the production points and then that is the production point that you will be the owner of throughout this challenge and then from that production point you must produce one trailer load of production so when I started this challenge I bought the grain mill with the money that you're allowed to start with and I'm going to be doing flour as my kind of main production in this series. So basically, since I own the grain mill, I must uh, produce one full load of flour and then take that and sell it somewhere on what I have available on the map. So I don't have any... Uh, grain cons consisting of wheat, barley, or oats down at my grain mill yet, which uh, I have my grain mill named after Warco Entertainment on YouTube, so our friend Warco owns the mill, and it's called Warco's Mill, so as soon as we get to the harvest of my three main fields, which have wheat, oat, and barley, I will take most of or all of that product down to the grain mill to produce flour as a, another way of income throughout this challenge. And then we must produce one full load of flour and then go sell that. Now I also own a uh, 
biogas plant, a mini biogas plant, which I have named after a, another supporter of the channel called Big A. So Big A owns the biogas plant in this no tractor challenge. Uh, we have just over 10,000 liters of digestate down there available to sell at some point, but we're going to probably leave that there in storing for now. And then I have a slurry yard that we can sell that uh, digestate at or manure or slurry. And my slurry yard here on this no tractor challenge is named after another content creator that is doing this no tractor challenge known as Felden. So it is called uh, Felden's Felden's slurry sales here on my version of the no tractor challenge and then we have a sell everything mod that I also own in this no tractor challenge and that is named after another content creator for FS on YouTube known as our friend Mr. P Mr. P's live gaming house on YouTube so I believe I have it labeled here in this uh, challenge as Mr. P's sales and it's a sell everything mod and then I have ownership of a fermenting silo which I just have named after myself as Rusty's fermenter and I don't have any grass in that right now uh, producing into silage, but I have just over 7,000 liters of silage available in it, I believe, that can be moved to production down at the biogas plant. Well, now we have finished rolling this cornfield, so we are going to put this back in the shed. And we're going to hop in another piece of equipment that I'm using this in this no tractor challenge and go down to the store and buy a new piece of equipment and then bring that back up here to the farm and uh, do some more work. So I hope you enjoy what I've been doing here with this no tractor challenge here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy. I'm having kind of a lot of fun with it. <laughs> Uh, you know, I don't know if you've never tried Maple Farm, but it's got a really, a really nice amount of features to the map. Basically, in my opinion, it's kind of like a mix of like, uh, No Man's Land, Calm Land, Pioneer's Map, <laughs> because you can kind of make it your own, because there's a lot of different shutoffs on this map. You can shut off uh, most of the trees, which you can see I don't have a lot of trees on here because I got that shut off cut down. You can shut off the stone walls that are along the main road on the map. You can shut off the hedges on the map. It's got a lot of shut offs. So then it makes the map kind of more of an open map for a lot more capability of doing whatever you want to do with the land. So I really love that feature that Cavalier Roy has brought to Maple Farm. You can pretty much make the map whatever you want it to be just because of all those shutoffs that are available. And that's why I chose this map. And the other reason I chose this map is because of the way I wanted to play this challenge. Because you can buy the farm yards there's seven, di seven different farms on this map, and you can buy the farmyards without buying the animal pins that surround that farmyard. So, when you buy the farmyard, you must also buy the animal pins on that farmyard separately. So that's another neat little feature to this. Now, I want to hop in our modded telehandler that we are using here in this no tractor challenge. And we're going to drive on down to the store. And we're going to buy a new piece of equipment to use here on our no tractor challenge here on Maple Farm. 
and uh, come back up here to the farm and do some more work uh, by utilizing that piece of new equipment. So, we will uh, see you over at the store, everybody. All right, welcome back, everybody. Well, we are approaching the store here on the right-hand side, and as you can see, the trees that are left on the map, because I, I cut down the shutoff for the other trees, the trees that are here are mainly uh, your good logging trees, some of your other good logging trees. So, um, all of the shutoffs that are available on this map, everybody, one of the shutoffs is a spotlight pole that stands right back here on this edge of this grass next to your repair area. You cut down that spotlight. There's another spotlight that is over here by the gas station. Actually, two of them over here. One of them is kind of right here in this little area on this edge of grass. And then right over here by these propane tank uh, cages, there's another spotlight standing right here. So you cut down those three and they do uh, different things. But I suggest if you play this map, you read the mod description about this map because it has a lot of neat features. So now let's go into the store and we're going to buy our new piece of equipment. All right, the first piece that we need is this TLX pup trailer frame. So we are going to buy this right here. I'm going to leave the wheel brand and wheel setup as standard, but we're going to check this color. We will leave that at black rim color. I always like chrome. So we're going to put that at chrome. And we're going to buy this for $5,500. And then we're going to hit our combinations button, which here on PlayStation 5 is R3. And we're going to go right over here to the TLX Dumper X2 for 4,500. And we're going to increase that capacity here in configurations to Unreal. So it holds 82,000 liters. And then uh, lighting. I don't think we're going to put any lights on it. Uh, cover, I don't want to cover on it, but we are going to do a main color of the two brands that we're using here, mainly which is Case and Massey. So we're going to do this in uh, Case. And the cover, if we had it, we'll leave it there as black. But we're going to buy this for 15700 All right, now let's uh, connect that up to our telehandler here. And move this up to the farm. And then we'll utilize this piece of equipment here. And get some more work done on our farm here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy. All right, so let's connect this thing up. There we go. Oh, that is almost a little too heavy for us, <laughs> it looks like. Oh, yeah, that's a little heavy pole. But, oh, my goodness sakes. Yeah, that's a little heavy. Can we even pull it? Oh, interesting. Okay, so let's see here. My eight plans. We're, we're going to get this up to the farm, everybody. So we will see you up to the farm. All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, we're going to try something here. I'll see if it handles a little bit better if we do this. So let's uh, drop our trailer. 
And we're going to drop our weight, and I want to see if it handles a little bit better without our weight on that there. I thought maybe I would just need that weight on. We might not need that weight on. Let's see. Oh, yeah, that pulls a lot better without that weight, extra weight back there. Okay, now we're going to connect up here, everybody to what we're going to utilize. So we need our little mag's eye interface attachment right there that's on the ground. As you can see, mag's eye is M-A-G-S-I spelt. M-A-G-S-I interface. It attaches to a telehandler, which basically turns your telehandler front end as a three-point with a PTO. So now we're going to put on our forage pickup we're going to lift our uh, forage pickup up off the ground and we're going to go over to our manure bunker by our cows and we're going to we're going to we're going to clean up some manure with our modded merlot telehandler using the forage pickup so look at this little no tractor action here let's turn on that forage pickup as you can see the black uh what do you want to call it the black thing anyway it's spinning around so it's working now let's clean up this manure in our bunker putting it in our trailer there right there working it just like a champ as we clean up all of this manure in this uh, cow pen here see what we get out of this I was gonna do this by shovel bucket and then I forgot I had the forage pickup mod but we have 35,984 liters right there All right, let's shut that off but there we go, 35,984 liters of manure. And we're going to move this down to my mini biogas plant owned by Big A. All right, let's drop our trailer right there. Let's go unhook our forage pickup and our interface over here. So we will drop that. We'll just drop the whole thing right there. Well, we could take that uh, mag's eye off. Uh, we'll leave the mag's eye on the ground here. There we go. All right. Let's put our telehandler back in the shed. And we will go dump that load of manure. So let's hop in our truck. We're going to take it with our truck. Take that down to our biogas plant and unload this manure there and get it to produce us some more digestate. Let's see. Do I have any manure just by chance? I'll check and make sure. See if we have any in. Nope no no in the silo oh and we have a wheat field right here too off to the left of the truck there a small little wheat field as well we can use that to either sell it or move it down to our production all right let's go take this down to big a's bga and get this unloaded there All right, welcome back. Well, let's unload this here at Big A's BGA and get this thing back to operation. There we go. Unload that there and turn Big A's BGA back on. So let's turn Big A's BGA back on with the manure. 
35,984 liters there to produce in to digestate electric charge and methane. So let's get that back to activation. We're storing the digestate. We're selling the electric charge and the methane. All right, now let's uh, move out of there. Okay, now, before I forget, there is uh, one other thing that I want to do right here, I think. We're going to see how much it is. I've never used it, but let's check that out here in the build mode, and we're going to put this by our BGA. I think I have it installed. we got to go to Productions, down here to Factories. And we want uh, this BGA network distributor. And we will buy, uh, we'll buy this uh, one that costs a little less in value here for 75,000. So let's buy that one and we're gonna put it, we're going to put it right here by the BGA. Now, what this is supposed to do is then uh, distribute our electric charge and methane and sell it for a little bit more money. So, I should probably change all that over to distributing then. But we'll put this right here beside. Supposed to put it, I think we're supposed to put it close to. Our BGA. So we'll go ahead then and turn off the uh, the what do you call it? <laughs> the free mode. We'll turn on our free mode and place this right here for seventy-five thousand. Okay, and then if we go to that, all right. First off, we need to go to this one. Okay, and we're going to go over here, and then we put this on distributing these two. Okay, and then let's go over here to this one, I think. And we don't have to do anything to that. Okay, and then let's see. We will then see if we can rename this, and we'll just put this as... Big A's also. Big A's distribution. Okay, so we got Big A's distribution right there. Okay, then over here we'll change this to... We'll rename this, but we're going to add something to that. So let's uh, add that and we'll back here and there we go uh, there we go big A's BGA and distribution all right so there we go that's that now we only have nine thousand dollars again but hopefully I did all that correct so we got our electric charge and methane distributing now on our mini biogas plant hopefully distributing to this and then selling for a better price. I, I believe that's how it works. <laughs> if I didn't do any of that correct or don't know what I'm talking about, please leave a comment in the comment section under this video. But hopefully that is uh, what we're supposed to do there. All right, so, oh, 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 let's back up here a minute. So as you can see, there's uh, some of our 50 pigs out there in that little pasture area. But our pigs are producing manure right there. So we got a little bit of manure right there. I just wanted to show that that was working. All right, so now let's go back up to the farm. And we need to move some other productions here. So we'll see you back at the farm. All right, welcome back, everybody. All right, we're going to drop this trailer. Whoops. We're going to drop this trailer right here for now. We're going to stay with the truck. 
we're gonna go over to our auto load trailer here we're gonna pick up what eggs we have right here from this chicken coop so we'll load those up there we go it's loading out and we'll go over to our other chicken coop and this chicken coop is the one that's full of chickens so if I remember when we get down to the other one we will check and see how full the other one is right here we have 74 percent full of eggs 11,914 liters of eggs so let's go on over to our other farm location where we got chickens and get some more eggs so we'll see you over at that farm all right welcome back everybody well let's pull down into this farm here where we got felden slurry sales and mr p's sales and another chicken coop all right we got a little bit of eggs there let's load those eggs up and see what we got for chickens here too whoa all right kind of backed a little squirrely there all right those oh not quite loading anyway we'll fix that let's see okay so this one holds 500 chickens then okay so this one's a little bit smaller than the other one okay we got 362 chickens in it right now all right now let's uh load up our eggs that we have here we're gonna go sell these eggs okay all right it's a little touchy sometimes there we go now they're loading all right we got 12,550 liters of eggs let's see where they're selling the best at eggs eggs are selling the best at let's see eggs where is eggs probably clear up here if i remember right there they are eggs eggs are selling the best right now at uh mr p sales cool that's right here with us all right mr p we're gonna give you some business my friend sell these eggs then we got to go over to our sawmill sell those nice we got money back now look at that thirty two thousand four hundred and twenty dollars okay now can we get to our sawmill from here um we're gonna see you over at the sawmill everybody let's get over to the sawmill and get some of our wood planks all right welcome back let's load up some planks here at the sawmill and get those sold whoa those are right there okay we got to turn the truck around here truck and trailer around hopefully we got room there there we go now we get these loaded and go get these sold make us some more money there's 20 some thousand in here so it's gonna be a little bit more than a full load I think should be there we go they're loading now should be more there come on spawn in there those are loading
All right, we got 16,000 liters of wooden planks, and we got to go sell these over at uh, Maple Exports. So let's get on over there and sell these. And then we have about 5,000 more liters, I think, that we can sell of planks, but we'll probably let those stay down there at the sawmill for now for money later when we need it. We had like 21,000 liters of them. So let's drive on over here and get these sold. And see what we're going to get for these. And decide if I'm going to spend any more money. Probably not. Probably just going to hang on to this money. Okay, this should sell, hopefully, right here. There we go, planks. Sell these. Look at that money. Sweet. 42000 We're already back up to $83,000. All right, well, let's get on out of here and get back to the farm. And move on with the No Tractor Challenge here on Maple Farm by Cavalier Roy. But, y'all, I'm going to leave it here. So if you've enjoyed this little bit of episode here on the No Tractor Challenge, please drop me a tasty one on that like button, which is better known by myself as a cop battery. And by you all people as delicious, don't it? And don't forget to leave us in the comment in the comment section, as well as please share a box of donuts with all our friends and family by sharing the videos and the live streams from the channel. But from myself, Rusty Money, we will see you all on the flip side, everybody. Have a good one.